Welcome back to MMA Al Dente. I am the guy who picked Evan Tanner to defeat Tito Ortiz. And I'm here to talk about the main event for UFC Fight Night, whatever the fuck, Brendan Allen versus Chris Curtis 2. Chris Curtis has taken this fight on fairly short notice, replacing Marvin Vittori. And he's one of the few guys that can take a five-round short notice fight. And I really won't have much doubt in him at all. Because uh, he's just got such a deep resume where he's been there, done that, five rounds included. And I expect him to be all right here. Not that I think he's going to surge in rounds four and five, but I definitely wouldn't expect him to fade. Although it could still happen. Uh, but having said all that, I am picking Chris Curtis to win this fight. I'm picking him to win. I'm picking him to win by knockout. And I've bet on him, but I'm going to be betting on Brendan Allen as well. I think both guys have distinct traits, and you can probably rely on these traits uh, when you're betting. I think Brendan Allen has a lot of momentum. I see what everybody else sees. The guy's surging since the loss to Chris Curtis, finishing just about everybody. He had a close fight with Jacob Malkoon, but he's put away some high-level fighters, even as a UFC main eventer. And uh, he's looked incredible, whereas Chris Curtis has uh, had mixed results since the Brendan Allen fight. But I think Chris Curtis is one of those anti-Brendan Allen type of fighters, where he's just naturally a bad matchup, uh, Chris Curtis. I think he's durable as all fuck, despite getting older and whatever. I think he's durable. And I think he's got incredible wrestling defense, takedown defense. And if you are able to take him down, he's a difficult guy to control. And he's just, he's a guy that will make most fights a striking fight. And I think that's what's going to happen here. And even in a kickboxing bout with Brendan Allen, I think he's a step behind as far as the numbers go. I expect more activity from Brendan Allen for him to be leading the dance, especially because Chris Curtis is the type of fighter to sit back a little bit and make reads or whatever the fuck they say. And that's the case in three round fights, but certainly I'd say in a five round fight, you know, but he's a guy that the reason he's doing that, he's managing his cardio and the whole thing. They, they all know their own bodies. And I think he'll be able to manage himself. Well, handle the offense of Brendan Allen and keep the fight standing. And then I think over the course of five rounds, He's going to start to slow Brendan Allen down, maybe like he did in the first fight with some beautiful body shots. And eventually, I expect him to clip Brendan Allen. I think if Chris Curtis does win, the overwhelming uh, likelihood is that it is a knockout. I'd be very surprised if he submitted him. I mean, I, I might kill myself if he fucking did that. And a decision, of course, is always possible with the way things uh, shake out. But I think uh, in a five-round fight, for him to be winning a decision against Brendan Allen, he'd probably have to have him heard multiple times. And I just uh, – it, it would kind of surprise me. But as far as Brendan Allen winning, I think decision is his primary path to victory. And I say that being fully aware of how dangerous Brendan Allen is. The guy is incredibly dangerous. More dangerous than Chris Curtis on the ground. But – I think that whole world of offense is removed from this fight against Chris Curtis. And Brendan Allen is, you know, eventually uh, settles into outstriking uh, Chris Curtis and trying to be the outside striker. And again, I expect, I think Brendan Allen's a very good striker and I expect him to be leading the dance. But uh, with him getting knocked out twice in the UFC to Sean Strickland and Chris Curtis himself, both in round two, I've just never fully trusted his chin. And I think uh, if he gets clipped, certainly by a guy as dangerous as Chris Curtis, uh, he's going to lose. You know, I think the, he'll be doing the fish dance again and get overwhelmed, especially as he gets more tired. Uh, but uh, Brendan Allen, he's a very skilled fighter. If there was one guy who could uh, submit Chris Curtis, it would be Brendan Allen. That'd be my pick. I think if he got on top of uh, Chris Curtis... He lays that heavy frame on top of him, laces up a leg and hangs on him. I think he could uh, be the guy to suck some of the wind out of Chris Curtis, uh, take away that wrestling defense and overwhelm him. But I'm not picking it to happen. I think uh, as dangerous as he is, again, the primary path to victory for him is a decision because I expect the, all the traits of Chris Curtis to be there. And for Chris Curtis, I think uh, 
he's a guy that might, I mean, he might not be in the best shape. I don't know, but he took a fight here on a, a five round fight on short notice. I expect him to uh, know Brendan Allen's weaknesses at this point. He and Sean Strickland teammates and really close friends both took him out in back to back fights and they were very similar wins or losses. I should say where, uh, you know, Sean Strickland really took over with the jab, but both of them got him out of there, clipped him in round two as he was starting to get a little tired and a little more vulnerable. And I think Chris Curtis is such a composed fighter knowing that where he'll be comfortable, even losing small moments to Brendan Allen and being a step behind. I think he knows he's got power on his side. Chris Curtis is the much more dangerous striker. And I think between the two of them, he's the much more durable guy. Rob, uh, Ray Cooper's the one guy to knock him out. Uh, guy's a fucking killer in the PFL. And I don't think Brendan Allen has that kind of danger. I think he's got thudding body kicks and a whole different type of danger. But I'd, I'd be really surprised if he TKO'd Chris Curtis. I think a TKO would be more likely from the fucking full mount. And I don't think that would happen either. So going with Chris Curtis, I take it to win by knockout. But again, I will play both sides and I'll definitely play Brendan Allen by decision slash Chris Curtis by knockout. They do that alternate uh, method of victory for each fighter thing on DraftKings. And uh, if unless the odds are really, really shitty there, I'll be playing that because, again, I trust the traits. Like, share, subscribe, all that horse shit, and check out my other videos.